Hey guys, as a virtual teacher this year, I have been struggling with making presentations that are interactive where I can model different skills, especially in math with my students. One of the especially frustrating things is using Google Meet, where when I click present, I can no longer manipulate the things on my screen, which means where normally I would love to show my students that I can drag these pencils, when I'm in my present mode, I no longer can do that. When I click on the pencils, it wants to go to the next slide. I have to exit out and go to this edit view in order to do that. Just in case you're not sure exactly what I mean, if I click on the present button now, it's going to take me to the presentation screen, which is great. But when I go to show my students how to click and drag these pencils, they are not something I can click and drag. When I click, it just goes to the next slide. In order to be able to edit them, I have to come back to this screen here to be able to click and drag. Instead of that, you're able to keep your screen in present mode with this whole page taking up the whole screen by using a Google Chrome extension. Now, just a disclaimer, this only works if you're using Google Chrome. So if you're not, this is not going to work. If you use Google Chrome, you are going to find the full screen interactive Google Slides extension. This is the one you're going to look for and install it. Once you've done that, you're going to go to the slide that you want to present. And instead of clicking present where you normally would, you are actually going to click on your little full screen interactive Google Slides icon. If yours is not already up here, you click on this little extensions puzzle piece and you can choose which ones to pin to keep at the top up here. The ones I use the most often I keep up here. So once I click here, you can see this has turned into a presentation. My speaker notes are still down here and all of the tools to interact with it, but all of the slides on the side have disappeared. Now I can still interact with my slide and type in it as I normally would without having it look like I'm still in that edit mode. So this way students can see in real time how I would manipulate the tools so that they know how to do it when they're on their own. I hope this was helpful.